Good morning to everyone here in Barbados, across the Caribbean and the wider world. Welcome to the Anglican Lenten Devotions. During this penitential Christian season, we will address six themes. These are as follows. Faith, penitence, love, forgiveness, fasting, and finally the topic, the Barabbas Syndrome. The theme for the second period from March 11th to 19th, is penitence. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Thus begins the act of penitence, which we Anglicans say regularly. Penitence is the state of being sorrowful and feeling repentant over one's sins. The Cambridge Dictionary defines penitence as the feeling of being sorry for something you have done because you feel it was wrong, or the act of showing this. What strikes me here is the word feel. So this gives us ownership, ownership for our actions. But what directs our feelings? What is our base? As Christians, we live by the teachings of Jesus Christ found in the Holy Scriptures. And the fundamental teachings of the Bible are to love God, love your neighbor as yourself, forgive others who have wronged you, love your enemies, Ask God for forgiveness of your sins. You see, Jesus is the Messiah and was given the authority to forgive sins. And of course, repentance of sins is essential. And the Bible gives us that comfort. And we offer the act of penitence week by week. In the words of 1 John chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, which says, But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. And if we claim to have not sin, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. So we first have to see our faults, which calls for a measure of humility. And again, if we look to Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14, it says, And my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven will forgive their sin, and will heal their hands. So there is reward in being penitent, and not that I'm suggesting that you're penitent for reward, but there are many stories in the Bible that show us the reward of being penitent. Of course, we know the very popular story of the penitent thief on the cross. And so during Lent, it is a time for us to humble ourselves, see our limitations, and strengthen our relationships with each other and our God. We now offer a word of prayer. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have wandered and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things that we ought to have done, and we have done those things that we ought not to have done and there is no health in us. But you, O Lord, have mercy upon us sinners. Spare those who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to mankind in Christ Jesus, O Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may live in disciplined, righteous, and godly life, to the glory of your name. Amen. I am Mary Weeks of the Usher's Guild, in the Diocese of Barbados. I am Gail Aline of the Church of Christ the King in Rockdundo, St. Michael. Join us tomorrow morning at 7.25 for another Anglican Lenten devotion. Mm-hmm.